Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival. Today we're going to talk about uh, Taxpayer's Bill of Rights. I am reading this information to you directly from irs.gov and the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't know that there was such thing as a Taxpayer's Bill of Rights and I thought when you were audited you were basically just bent over and you didn't really have anything that you could, you know, do one way or another and you didn't have any rights and you just had to kind of go along with it and, you know, all that. However, th there are a few important things in here. Some of these, I don't know if they really amount to much, um, but I wanted, to, I wanted to, to just go over it with you so that everybody knows. As you guys probably have heard, there is probably going to be about 87,000 new IRS agents. Um, that to me is <laughs> incredible, uh, considering that that's more people than work in the Pentagon, which uh, is the largest office building in the world. So just think about that for a minute. I, you know, elections have consequences. Okay, so uh, the first one on the IRS... Um, Taxpayer Bill of Rights is the right to be informed. It says underneath this, taxpayers have the right to know what they need to do to comply with tax laws. They are entitled to clear explanations of the laws and IRS procedures in all tax forms, instructions, publications, notices, and correspondence. They have the right to be informed of IRS decisions about their tax accounts and to receive clear explanations of the outcomes. Now, Notice that's all ahead of time. It doesn't mean that you you get to not understand them and then they you know you don't have to pay restitution. You have you have the right to be informed prior to, <laughs> um, and that's you know it's important. You should know the law. Number two here is the right to quality service. Taxpayers have the right to receive prompt, courteous, and professional assistance in their dealings with the IRS be spoken to in a way that can be easily understood, to receive clear and easy understandable communications from the IRS, and to speak to a supervisor about inadequate service. So that's an important one. I think the main one there is, is that if somebody is treating you like trash, then you have the right to speak to their supervisor. Now, maybe that person will be better and maybe they won't. I don't know. Uh, presumably, you could also speak to that person's supervisor if need be. Number three is the right to pay no more than the correct amount of tax. So that's important, right? Uh, taxpayers have the right to pay only the amount of tax legally due, including interest and penalties. It's funny to me that they get interest and penalties too, but hey. Uh, and to have the IRS apply all tax uh, payments properly. All right, there's, there's a couple of important ones coming down the list here, so don't go away yet because... The, the really important ones are a little bit lower here. Um, the right to challenge the IRS's position and to be heard. Taxpayers have the right to raise objections and provide additional documentation in response to formal IRS actions or proposed actions. To expect that the IRS will consider their timely objections and documentation promptly and fairly and to receive a response if the IRS does not agree with their position. So you do have the right to challenge things. It's not like you just have to blindly accept it. You can say, hey, here's my evidence. This is why, you know, I did this or that. Okay. Again, important ones are coming up. Um, the right to appeal an IRS decision in an independent forum. Taxpayers are entitled to a fair and impartial administrative appeal of most IRS decisions, including many penalties and may have the right to receive a written response regarding the Office of Appeals decision. Taxpayers generally have the right to take their cases to court. Okay, so if you don't feel like you're being heard and, and treated appropriately, you might be able to take it to court. As again, it said in most cases. Next one is right to finality. Taxpayers have the right to know the maximum amount of time they have to challenge the IRS's position as well as the maximum amount of time the IRS has to audit a particular tax year or collect a tax debt. Taxpayers have the right to know when the IRS has finished an audit. Okay, all right, that's pretty self-explanatory. Next one is the right to privacy. This is important, especially, you know, when taxpayers 
documents have been leaked recently. Um, taxpayers have the right to expect privacy, or have the right to expect, excuse me, that any IRS inquiry, examination, or enforcement action will comply with the law and be no more intrusive than necessary and will respect all due process rights, including search and seizure protections, and will provide, where applicable, a collection due process hearing. Okay. <clears throat> so this one's pretty similar, uh, right to privacy. This one is the right to confidentiality. It says taxpayers have the right to expect that any information they provide to the IRS will not be disclosed unless authorized by the taxpayer or by law. Taxpayers have the right to expect appropriate action will be taken against employees, return preparers, and others who wrongfully use or disclose their taxpayer return information. All right, here's the important one. I'm glad you stayed with me so far because this one is the important one. Um, and I cannot stress it enough. The right to retain representation. Taxpayers have the right to retain an authorized representative of their choice to represent them in their dealings with the IRS. Taxpayers have the right to seek assistance from a low-income taxpayer clinic if they cannot afford representation. So, if you get audited, you don't have to just go through this by yourself and try to justify things on your own. You know, the, the tax code is like, I don't know, what is it, like 80, I don't know, it's probably more than that, uh, the, you know, hundreds of thousands of pages of tax code. I don't know how much it is. It's a bunch. It's a lot to know. And so you really should get an attorney and or get a tax representative who has worked with the IRS before and working you through these issues. Um, you know, maybe you need to get a CPA and an attorney. Maybe, you know, who knows what the case may be. Um, but it's important to not just you know, bend over and take it. You, you need to represent yourself accordingly, according to the IRS themselves. They are saying that you have the right to do this and they're putting it out to the public so that everybody knows. Um, and the last one is the right to a fair and just tax system. Taxpayers have the right to expect the tax system to consider facts and circumstances that might affect their underlying liabilities, their ability to pay, or their ability to provide information timely. Taxpayers have the right to receive assistance from the Taxpayer Advocate Service if they are experiencing financial difficulty or if the IRS has not resolved their tax issues properly and timely through its normal channels. So that's another good resource to know about if you're having difficulty with repayment or something like that if you did mess up um, there is a taxpayer advocate service that you can use to help structure your payments and all that kind of stuff so that you know your house just doesn't get taken away out from under you or something like that so anyway i know this is not like the normal kind of stuff that we would normally talk about here on the channel but given the fact that uh, there's probably going to be a change in um, you know the numbers of audits that are conducted and different things like that uh, with all these new IRS agents being hired, then um, might be good to know. That's what I thought. So there you go. From uh, irs.gov forward slash taxpayer taxpayer dash bill dash of dash rights. So you can check the link in the description below. If you guys want to look over this stuff yourself, you can. I just thought it, was, it might be useful. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to live six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.